Hello, and in this video, we're going to use Onshape uh, to create this precision screwdriver set base. Uh, this is a Craftman precision screwdriver set. Uh, it's from 1.3.4 on uh, PLTW IED. Uh, it's really tough to find this screwdriver set now, uh, but you can find a multi bit jeweler set from Craftsman. It's got that same base to it. Uh, so if you're looking for and you want to actually have the measurements, you can use that. I do not have them, so we're going to estimate uh, measurements on this item. Uh, so we're going to come to Onshape. I'm just on a new uh, pot studio, and we're going to start by making that base. So to do that, I'm just going to start a sketch, and I'm going to click on my what's called the top. I like to refer to it as the bottom, but uh, they call it the top on here. I'm going to select an inscribed polygon. Uh, you could do a circumscribed polygon as well, but I'm going to do an inscribed. Uh, from looking it up, it's a pentagon with a diameter of 1.67, it looked like. Uh, so I click to place my uh, pentagon, and then I have to change it by moving my mouse in until I have five. Uh, then I want to dimension my circle. So I click on my dimension tool, click on my circle, and we said 1.75 for this uh, instrument inscription on my polygon. Uh, then I'm also going to make it horizontal uh, just so it's uh, set in location. So I'm just going to select horizontal and make my bottom line horizontal and that fully constrains that shape. I hit my green check to accept. Uh, then we want to extrude it with a taper. So I'm going to change my view so we can see it. Uh, to extrude with a taper we click extrude like normal, click inside our shape. Uh, this time I'm going to go a distance of 0.25. Uh, angle or uh, taper, I'm going to click draft and that's going to let me get the angle. Uh, in this case, for the first one, we want a taper of 45 degrees. So I do 45 degrees, I click. Uh, I'm going to zoom in so we can see this time it's going out. I want it going in, so I'm going to click on this uh, uh, opposite direction button and it's going to taper in like we want. So 45 degrees uh, for 0.25 inches. Hit my green check to accept and that gives us our base here. Uh, next, we want to go up, uh, but we don't want it tapering that at 45 degrees anymore. Uh, so I can just go straight to an extrude from that top uh, pentagon. I'm going to make it so we can see a little better. Uh, this time, we're going to go up by 0.75 inches. So we're going to go 0.75, uh, and our taper is not going to be nearly close to 45. So we still want it tapered. Uh, we still want it tapering in, so I'm going to change the opposite direction. Uh, and this time I'm going to do 3 degrees. Uh, with uh, injection molding, you want at least 2 degrees on vertical surfaces. I'm going to go 3 degrees on this particular object. Uh, so that gives us our next step on our object. So I'm going to hit my green check, and we'll accept that next portion of our object. Uh, then we want to go up to a circular shape. If we look at the object, it goes to a circular shape next. Uh, so if we come back up, you can see it's got that circular shape. Uh, so we're going to add an offset surface to create that circular shape. So I'm going to come up here on the top, offset surface, click on the top of my object, and I want it to be a distance. Uh, again, we're just estimating these distances, so I'm going to do point 0.1 in this case, and hit my green check. Uh, then I'm going to sketch on that new surface I just created. I'm going to switch to my top view so I can see a little better. And I'm going to select the circle tool. We want a circle. Uh, so I'm going to make a circle on top here. I want it going almost out to the edge, but not all the way. Uh, if we see, it's going to be about 1.1. So I'm going to type in 1.1 for my value. So it's going almost to the edge, but not quite. I uh, hit my green check to accept. Uh, and then again, we change our view. And I'm going to take away the surface by clicking on the eye next to it down here on the lower left. And then it's a little easier to see my object. Uh, then I'm just going to do what's called a loft in this case. So I'm going to use this loft tool. And I'm going to select my bottom surface. And then I'm going to select my circle. And I'm adding a new surface to it. Uh, so that gives us that loft we're looking for. Hit my green check to accept. And we're lofting or we're going from that pentagon to a circular uh, surface. Uh, then I want to extrude the circle. It comes up a little bit, so I need to extrude the circle. Uh, in this case, we want it coming up another about half an inch, so I'm going to do 0.5. Again, I'm just estimating these values. I don't have the actual object. 
And again, it's vertical, so we need to taper it. So three degree taper. Uh, right now it's going out, so we flip it so it's going in. I hit our green check to accept, and that gives us our next level up to the top of our screwdriver bit holder. Uh, at the top, we want to round these edges on the top, and we're just going to use a fillet to do that. So I'm going to hit my fillet, just click on that top, and I'm going to just fillet it to a point 0.1. And that gives us that rounded uh, top we're looking for there on our object. So now we have a rounded top to our object. Uh, and next, it tells you to extend the base downward. Uh, it does walk you through selling it. Uh, we're not going to do that because they just have you cancel that sell out. Uh, so we'll do the sell at the end. Uh, so next, uh, we just want to do another extrusion here on the bottom. Uh, this one's going to be a very short extrusion. Uh, we're going to go 0.05, so it's not going very far. But it's just adding that little soft uh, bottom surface to it. Uh, we are still going to draft this time. We are going to draft out uh, so that direction does not have to get changed. And that should give us a flat base we want on our object. So that adds to that base and gives that flat base object we're looking for there. Uh, now we have to put the holes in it. So we need holes for those bits to fit into. So we're going to add those holes on top here. Uh, so I'm just going to start a sketch. I'm going to click on the top. And I'm going to start with my middle hole. Uh, pretty easy to locate because it's going right smack dab in the middle. So we go to the origin, click, and I'm going to make this a quarter inch or 0.25 inch. Again, I don't have the actual object. If you do, you can make it to the exact size, but I'm just estimating these values here. Uh, so 0.25 circle in the middle, and then we're going to extrude it down and tape it. So I'm going to finish the sketch. I'm going to hit my extrude. We're going to uh, remove because we're going down into it. And we want to tape it as we go down. So we're going to tape it as we remove. And we go down with a draft. And this time it says specifically to change it to 2 degrees. So I'm going to change it to 2 degrees. And I'm going to go down 1.5 inches. Again, this is an estimate of about how far it should go. Uh, I can't see my taper going out here. So I'm going to select this tool. And now you can see that taper. It's coming in like we would expect it to on this object. Uh, so that gives us that two degree taper we're looking for. Uh, so that's how we make our center hole. Uh, then we have five holes on the outside. So I'm just going to do a new sketch. Click on that top surface again. I'm going to do a circle. I'm going to put it directly on the line above. And then I'm going to use a circular pattern to locate it. So I'm going to click above. I'm going to set my circle. It's going to have a, a diameter of a 0.1. And then I'm going to locate it from my center of the circle to my object as 0.3. So I'm going to set that as 0.3. Again, these are estimated values. I don't know what the exact values are. Uh, then I want five of them. So I'm going to use my circular, circular tool, which is up here on the top. I come down to circular pattern. I click on my circle. And then what it says 3x up here above, I'm going to double click on that and change it to 5. When I hit 5, it gives me those 5 circles I'm looking for, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it shows green check on the right, on the left click. So I left click to accept, and now I have those 5 circles uh, located around the center. I'm going to hit the green check to accept, and again, I'm going to extrude, remove. Uh, these ones I'm going to have to go down 1 inch, and I'm going to have a draft of 2 degrees. And then I click inside each one of those circles, 1, 2, 3, 4, and five and again i want it taping in so i need to change my direction the opposite direction and that gives us that top of our screwdriver holder so that gives us our top shape so now we have a sp space to hold it uh, then we need to sell this so to sell it i'm going to turn to the bottom because that's what the face i'm going to remove uh, up here we have a sell tool you can find it right there uh, faces to remove is going to be the bottom and then I want the cell thickness, it says uh, somewhere between 1.4 and 3 millimeters. So I'm going to type in 1.75 millimeters. Again, this is just estimating what that value. Hit the green check to accept, and you can see it sells out. If we look at the bottom, we can see those holes uh, where those items come up. Uh, and then on top, you can see that we have our sour shape. 
Uh, so hopefully this helps you to create your jewelry set base or your screwdriver holder. Uh, I'm not going to do the embossing on it. Uh, I'll make another video for the embossing or adding text. Uh, but hopefully this helps to create that jewel set base.